Hi guys, in today's video we are going to talking about how to install VS Code and Python extension on Kali Linux. So, let's start. Please be with me step by step. First of all, we are going to download VS Code on the official page on the official website. Yeah, we are just writing VS Code on Google. Then go to download page. We are going to download the Kali Linux ver version of this one. Just waiting a few seconds until the download will be finished. Yeah, we are just saving it. So, yeah. It takes a few seconds until it will be downloaded. Actually, it depends on your internet connection. Now we are going to the download folder. Just deleting the old version. Yeah. So just open terminal on the download folder. Just zoom in so you can see the code easily. We are going to install VS Code. Yeah, as you can see, the package is there. We are just going to write sudo dpkg install this package. Yes, it's like that. Just waiting a few seconds until it will be installed per correctly. Yeah, as you can see, the Visual Studio code is already installed. We are just going to search for it and see if it's already installed on the Kali Linux. Yeah, as you can see here. Visual Studio Code. Now we are going to install uh, Python extension. So, as you may already know, VS Code is, could be used for the JavaScript, Python, Java, PHP, Azure, C++, and so on. Uh, we are just going to extension section to install Python. Yeah, just install it. It's very easy step. Just it take a few seconds until it will be installing. As you can see, the Python is installed correctly. So we are just going to test if this really works on Kali Linux. Yeah, we are just have to save the new file. Yeah, we are saved with the .py extension, which is which is Python extension. Yeah, the most important part here you should to choose the Python version or if you work on the C++ you should do choice C++ but on this case we are just going to choice Python 3.8 which is the one we are wanting to work on at the moment let's just test it print hello world As you can see, it's worked perfectly. So just let's comment it and write another code. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in learning Python application like machine learning, artificial intelligence, automation, data science, and data scrubbing, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.